So, I never heard of pumpkin pie. a little spontaneous video today and I have construction noises outside so I hope I hope it still kind of works out um yeah I've never had a pumpkin pie in my life I'm from Germany right and in Germany we don't really do a lot of sweet pumpkin recipes like all the good stuff like pumpkin pie pumpkin muffins pumpkin cheesecake pumpkin flavored everything we don't really have that here and I always really want to try pumpkin pie because everyone is kind of like raving about it. And today, I don't know, the sun is out, it's cozy. I'm gonna try to bake a pumpkin pie today. <laughs> and um, yeah, because I've never done it before, I don't really know how it should taste. And then I researched some recipes and most of them use coconut milk. And no hate on coconut milk, but I'm not a fan. Like, I'm not... I don't hate it, but I'm not a big fan of it. So I try to like um, switch the coconut milk out for something else, and I'm just basically throwing stuff in there and hope it will turn out yummy. But what I wanted to say is that I've never tried a pumpkin pie, and I don't know if it's authentic or nice or anything like that. But um, yeah, we're just gonna try it out today, and I hope you're having fun with this video. And this weird intro again. I'm gonna start baking now. <laughs> See you. Thanks for watching. Um, bye. <laughs> okay, one thing I forgot. Um, I have like the most disgusting looking fingernails right now. So I'll try to film this video with my left hand because it's less disgusting. But if you see any chipped nail polish, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and also, I'm gonna try to film on my actual kitchen counter again so the footage actually is in focus. Oh my gosh, I, I can't do this with. Okay, have fun now. Bye! So we're starting this off by combining the dry ingredients for our pie crust first. So combine 250 grams of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, about 50 grams of sugar, a half teaspoon of baking powder and some cinnamon. I then proceeded to make my pumpkin puree, but you can also use store-bought. Um, but for the homemade version, I just cut up the pumpkin, took out the insides, but also saving them this time because you can roast the seeds and eat them, so you're having less waste, which is always a good thing. Then I'm boiling the pieces until soft. Now we're switching back to our pie crust where I'm adding the wet ingredients, aka one and a half tablespoons of applesauce and 110 grams of cold vegan butter. Then mix it up until it forms a dough and roll it out on a sheet of parchment paper. When you're done, grease your pie dish and place the dough inside. Now you can shape the crust however you like and save the rest of the dough for decorations. The crust is then going to the fridge for at least 30 minutes while you can make your pie decor and filling. Okay. 
So I cut out these cute little leaf shaped cookies for decoration. Here they are. Very nice. Oh, and also this little rest of the dough that never really has any shape because it's not enough for a whole cookie. By now, our pumpkin pieces should also be soft and tender and ready to be turned into puree. Now, to make the pie filling, two and a half cups of pumpkin puree go back to our freshly cleaned blender, along with a third of a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of maple syrup and three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. For a more creamy texture, I also added one tablespoon of cashew butter and one tablespoon of vegan cream cheese. Also, spices. And lastly, three heaping tablespoons or 50 grams of cornstarch. And now we're mixing that up and here is our nice and smooth pie filling. Now for one of the best parts, take the pie crust out of the fridge, poke it with a fork a few times and pour in your filling. Smooth out the top with a spatula and bake in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for about 60 minutes. Oh, and also bake and take the cookies out after a few minutes as well. So I took the pie out of the oven, I don't know, like 30 minutes ago and now I'm gonna let it cool down. And when it's cooled down to room temperature, I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight um, because it needs to set. And also because it's getting dark already and I want nice footage of this cake when it's in its full glory. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna see each other tomorrow, if you stay tuned. Oh, and also for the cookies, which turned out very pretty. You can just put them in an airtight container and leave it on the countertop. They don't need to go in the fridge. So yeah, they're gonna wait till tomorrow as well. Good morning guys, so it's the next day, I know I look the same, I made an effort to match everything to the footage from yesterday and I also took care of the nail situation. So I just took the pie out of the fridge. It looks solid, which is good. And I think we can decorate it and try it. See you, stay tuned. And yes, so that's basically what I did then. I made some vegan whipped cream, decorated the pie with one of the cute little cookies and uh, done. Now, here's some satisfying pie content for y'all, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye!